I am Jacques Slade. Welcome to 2015. And the top stories of the day bring us the KD7, the Adidas Mach Runner, and the Jordan 4. This is Today in Sneaks. Nike basketball, or Nike sportswear, I should say, is starting 2015 on a high note with the Nike KD7 Longhorn State. As many of you already know, KD attended college in Austin, Texas before turning pro, and this pony hair branded KD7 EXT is Nike's celebration of that time in his life. The upper takes inspiration for the spot patterns on a steer and even uses the same colors often seen on actual Longhorns. Now, this is an EXT, which means it still has the tech, but it's definitely made more for off-the-court use. Look for these to drop with $200. One of my top 10 sneakers of 2014 was the Adidas Tubular. I just really like the look of that shoe. Adidas Original seems to like that shoe as well as created a moccasin version of the shoe that doesn't have a release date quite yet. These pictures here are from overseas, but they show the lifestyle shoe in a blue, black, and my favorite of the three, a brown colorway. Again, there is no release date for this version of the shoe, but there are pairs of the normal Adidas Tubular available right now at several different retailers. If you've never had a chance to catch my video of the Jordan Remastered Collection, now is a good time to catch it. You can check it out right there. As for the Remastered Collection, it's starting to roll out as we speak. First came the Fragment Air Jordan 1, and now the Air Jordan 4 Legend Blue will be hitting store shelves. The Jordan 4 has been updated with a better leather on the upper, just a better quality altogether, and it continues the trend of Legend Blue that we've seen on several Jordan brand releases in the last month or so. I've actually had a chance to hold the sample version of this shoe in my hand, and they do feel different than the Air Jordan 4s we have seen recently. As you know by now, there is a price jump with these, putting them at $190, and you can grab a pair starting on Saturday. As for the question of the video, I want to know what shoe you are looking forward to in 2015. For me, I'm actually looking forward to the Kobe 10. The leaked images have me wondering about the technology setup in the shoe. Let me know what you think and what you're looking forward to in the comments down below. Before I go, I like to start the year with putting my goals out in the universe, and one of them is to make this channel better for you guys. If you have time, let me know right down in the comments what you think I can do to make this channel better for you. Another one of my goals is to hit 100K subs by the end of the year, so making this channel better will definitely help make that a reality. As for what I'm rocking today, it is this shoe, the Air Jordan 29 in black. I actually received these from Jordan Ram right before Christmas, and I've actually worn them casually more than I've actually worn them on the court, shame on me. Anyway, you should be able to grab this colorway right now at pretty much any retailers. Um, I'll put some links down below for you guys if you're looking for them. Anyway, this is going to do it for today. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you like and share to keep people updated with what's going on in the sneaker world. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and as always, I appreciate you. All right, guys. I'll I'll see you soon. Peace. As soon as I said I thought I would never put her. Um, yeah. That's happening. So here we go, guys. Should I cut? Should I cut now?